In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about how to work with layers in Photoshop while adding tones and filters to photographs. Go ahead and open an image that you'd like to use for this exercise. I'm using an image of lilies today, and if you need help opening a file, go to File, Open, and navigate to the file on your computer. If you don't see this Layers panel on the right side of Photoshop, go to Window and select Layers, and it should appear. First thing I'm going to do, there should be a layer called background that includes the image that you have open. I'm going to duplicate this layer by right clicking and selecting duplicate layer. Let's rename this duplicate layer auto tone and click OK. This should now pop up with a new layer on top. Another way to duplicate, you can select your background layer, click and drag it to the plus sign at the bottom. OK, select your auto tone layer. And let's go up to your menu to Image Auto Tone. The auto Tone is looking at highlights, undertones, and it's fixing little things in the photograph for me. Now, go to your Layers panel, click the little eyeball next to Auto Tone to turn that layer off. We are going to try another auto adjustment. So let's go back to our background layer and duplicate the layer again. So right click, click Duplicate Layer. Let's name the layer Auto Contrast and click OK. Go to your menu, Image, Auto Contrast. So now you get a slightly different result. Let's quickly compare it to the Auto Tone layer by clicking the eyeball on and off of these layers. So some of these auto adjustments will be better than others and it depends on the photograph that you are making adjustments to and how it affects the image. So let's turn these two new layers off and we're going to try one more adjustment layer. So go back to your background layer, right click, say duplicate layer. Let's call this one auto color. Now with your auto color layer adjusted, go to image, auto color. And this made yet another adjustment to our image to the colors in this photograph. It made them more blue, which is kind of interesting. But again, every photograph is going to adjust a little bit differently. So now let's practice reordering your layers and moving them around. Let's drag them into alphabetical order. So click and drag your layers into the right order. Now toggle between the new layers and pick your favorite. I think auto tone is my favorite. It's a little bit warmer on this photograph and all the colors are really bright and vibrant. So turn off all the layers that you don't like. Now let's save this document. Go to file, save. I'm just gonna add the word edit at the end of this file. So you'll notice when we started working on this file, it was a JPEG. Now that we have layers and we want to keep those layers in the file, you have to save it as a Photoshop file or a .psd file. So click Save. You may get a pop-up at this point. Just click through and say OK. Now to close this file, you can just click the X in the tab, or you can say File, Close. So that's how to work with layers and make auto adjustments to your files in Photoshop. Subscribe to Cry Studio for more Photoshop tutorials. Thanks so much.